The cooler than average temperatures today brought lots of people to Dollar Day at the Dallas Zoo. Despite a cap on ticket sales, traffic came to a crawl, exiting I-35 and on South Marcellus and South Ewing Avenues as well. Fox Wars' Lori Brown is in Dallas tonight with more on the story. Lori. Steve, since the Dallas Zoo began requiring advanced reservations for dollar days, a lot of people are known to snag those $1 tickets online, and then when those triple-digit forecasts come out, some stay home. But today, a whopping 18,000 people came out. That's up from last year's 13,000. I see an elephant! For once. Dollar days at the Dallas Zoo is less than scorching. Last year, I think the high was 101 when we came, um, so much cooler and cloudier. So it's been a lot nicer today, but a lot busier. Brandy Barrett makes a two-hour trip from Dangerfield to Dallas each year with her family and friends. And this year, we got to bring along my grandma. I like it. What, what is your favorite thing here? Sing the penguins. The tiger. Six-year-old Yvonne just moved to Dallas from San Jose. I love animals. But if you are used to the weather in San Jose, even a good summer day in Dallas doesn't feel that way. How hot does it feel? It's uh, <laughs> no words to describe that hotness, actually. Boiling? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, in, uh, just like sitting in a heater. Ten-year-old Lila Patel is from New York. Still feels so hot. Did you know that in Dallas, we actually think today is a cooler day? Really? What? But the better than usual weather for Dallas did come with a price tag. Lots of traffic circling every street around the zoo. We got here around 8. Yeah, we're the first ones in line. We were thinking about this since last week. We were ready to come. It was very busy. Like, <laughs> it took us a minute to get in here, but I'm glad we got in here. Anthony McCray came with a group from his church. We brought in like 14. 14 people. Yes, with the babies. They are around here somewhere. Uh, we have 14 family. We're from Holy Temple Church in uh, Dallas. Dallas, Texas. Saved quite a bit. Yes. I mean quite a bit. Dollar days are good, especially for families. Are you guys praying for good weather? Yes, we yes. always pray for good weather. <laughs> and the Lord came through. He sent rain and brought some cooler in the air. Dallas Zoo spokeswoman Carrie Stryber says people start asking about dollar days in January. Education, um, we try to we try to sneak it in in really fun ways so that you don't come to the zoo thinking you're going to get an education and learn. Um, but a lot of kids walk away and a lot of adults walk away um, learning something new. Porcupines will give three warnings to a predator before they attack with their spines. And elephants. They use their trunks to like put dust on them to protect them from the sun. Thursday, maybe a little less dust was needed. There is one more dollar day at the Dallas Zoo this year. It's August 6th. It, reservations are required to be made online in advance. Steve, there are still 12,000 tickets remaining.